right, all right. We are up and rolling back. To, welcome back to another episode of Live with Brian. And I got my beautiful co-host with me today, the lady I've been talking about for the past three, four, five, six, seven weeks, months, whatever y'all want to talk about, my beautiful lady, Miss Amber Days. You can also find her on TikTok, Amber.Days, D-A-Z-E. But welcome to the show, young lady. Thank How you, you doing? Look, 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 she's all special. Y'all, I'm going to try to be professional. I really will. It's hard to do my job correctly when she's here because I get, I get nervous. But anyways, tell us about yourself. What, what, you, what you doing? What you got going on before we get this episode started? Well, I basically create mm-hmm. i deep dive into anything that i can do with my hands um i upholster i do woodwork i build furniture um yeah basically anything that i feel as though can be done by myself i will attempt to do um so that's pretty much what i do <laughs> and she does it well once again y'all amber dot days amber dot d-a-z-e and today we gonna kind of oh how you because <laughs> you already know what I was talking about yesterday with the um the girl that got flew out and stuff like that right yeah. so from a female perspective because we had old girl on here yesterday she was doing her thing but now I got my lady on here so what's your perspective on that on on just the okay so let's let's just recap for for the new audience as well so the long long story short he was talking to well these two people were talking mm-hmm. and then there was you know facetiming and being romantic all that type of stuff puppy dog face whatever you want to call it yeah and then he flew her flew her out to get the cheeks or oh, that was his that was his intention that was his, okay. but then whenever she got there that wasn't her intentions okay. so like she was like no this down the third blah 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 she was walking according to him she oh we've been doing this down the third on the phone mm-hmm. you've been walking around my house naked blah 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 you ain't trying to handle the cheeks so he um, not only he canceled her flight back home, but he dropped off to the airport with nothing. So but what she came left her stranded. So how do you feel about that? I mean, I think it just sounds childish, honestly. Because mm. like, as a man, it's like maybe y'all, maybe y'all even discussed it. Maybe y'all even like went as far as like saying like, yeah, we're gonna do something and all kind of stuff like that. But it's like, as a man, it's like. I don't know. It just seems childish. Mm-hmm. It seems like little boy behavior. Because it's like, she don't owe you nothing. Like, the same way you don't owe her nothing. But it's like, I think men, or even, the, not men, but in such a situation when a man does such a thing, it's like, he kind of should just explain to her what it was. And... He didn't, or obviously they didn't have that explanation that was up front about it. Like, it's not, it's not like he wanted a prostitute, but I mean. Uh, and but, but see, that's what I said, too. I said that uh, the other day. I was like, well, he should have just paid for it. But the, I think the dilemma came as far as in his, whatever his reasoning for it was, well, he wanted her in particular, and they had the series of events that led up to that. I mean, well, if he really wanted her, then he would have not just dumped her off. I mean, I think. He, I think even in that situation or in any situation, it's like just because a woman don't want to give it up right then and there don't mean she won't eventually want to give it up. So it's like you just basically having a temper tantrum over the fact that she didn't want to give it to you right then Not and there. Not a temper tantrum. Like, <laughs> it's, it's childish. Now somebody said he did pay for it. Five racks is a lot. So I'm, I'm going to I'm I'm say something about I want you to say. What, how do you feel about that first before I say what I got to say? I mean... Like I said, unless it was discussed up front, as in we are exchanging this five stacks for your goods, <laughs> I don't think he paid for it. Mm-hmm. I think maybe in his sense he felt like he paid for it because it probably was for him a lot of money, but nobody told him to spend that much money. And I'll, I'll rebuttal. Well, I'll, I'll add on to what she said about this, and I'm gonna get to. You. I see y'all comments starting to come in. Uh, I'll say, I'll say this. Regardless of how much he spent, because I, I agree with her. Regardless of how much he spent on the situation or whatever their little agreements was, is that in the third? At the end of the day, nobody's obligated to give you their body. At least in my opinion, you know, it's like we've been dating for going on four years. If she's not in the mood, she's not in the mood. If I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. Regardless of who got fluid out, is that in the third? You know, so it's like unless. Behind closed doors, they had the discussion of, okay, I'm flying you out. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Is that in the third? But in exchange for X, Y, and Z, you know, whatever she was going to do to him or whatever and vice versa, that's different. But from what we know, you know, there was no actual concrete 
way of like, oh, well, a communication of like, oh, well, when I come out, we smashing this, that, and the third, I'm running them cheeks. That wasn't that. He, she was just like, I want to get fluid out because that's a that's a thing now. Yeah, and the fact is that it has been made a normal thing. So even though it may not be normal for some people, it's like it is a normal thing or just a normal saying to get fluid out. Mm-hmm. Like women make this, some women make this a requirement if you even want to date me, that you got to fly me out. Right. So I don't know. Unless y'all had that requirement up front that y'all was supposed to do some, I don't think. <laughs> and even and even then, it's like, okay, say we did agree but, to but it. it. You're right. Because even in like, can I say sex work? Yeah. Even in sex work, it's like, now, typically that's your job, so you know you, you got mm-hmm. paid to do it. But it's like, you can, even they can say, no, I don't feel like doing it. So mm-hmm. it's like. To a certain extent, cause like not, cause that's more like a, a of an exclusive type of action. But I, is, I get what you're saying though. But it's like you have things laid out in a description, yeah, exactly. As such. So if you want to go outside of the description, then that nullifies the agreement. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't have to do it. So now somebody said the comments kind of already gone. Uh, somebody said uh they love she loves um when men are patient. So. Mm-hmm. Being that you're already here, and if you're still in the comment section, please let us know why you say that. But being that you're here today and we have your perspective on it, what is the attraction, or what is your what is your standpoint on like what is what is exactly patience? Like what is it? What is she getting at? I think, or what do you feel she getting at? I think um, patience. When you're dating anyone or involved with anyone, is like at least for me, I am. Typically, unless it's already just playing out and discussed, if I'm dating you and I'm trying to figure out your qualities, then patience is a is a big thing. It's like everything's not going to happen in the time frame that you expect it to happen. So, and that's going towards everything. So, to show such a thing when it comes to, like, my body and how I'm comfortable or not, it shows that you care. Mm -hmm. It shows that you're willing to wait the time that it takes to open up such a side of me. And maybe you'll be, maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe it won't for you. But for me, it's like, that's your boundaries. That's my boundaries. Yeah. And if you're not willing to wait and just want to just, they forget my boundaries then yeah we don't really need to be doing anything honestly because mm-hmm. even i will say this y'all consent like even though i feel as though when people get into relationships the how can i put it because you know how it was before we started dating with just in general is like mm-hmm. unless i know for sure somebody's like hey like we you know we trying to do whatever mm-hmm. i'm not just gonna assume we have sex i'll try to even do stuff like that mm-hmm. but like when i feel like when people get into relationships not saying that the consent flies out the window but we have a consensus that like okay we typically don't I don't have to ask you every day it's like okay oh yeah, how are we having sex today is that in the third mm-hmm. but like if you were to not like I said before if she's not in the mood I'm not in the mood I feel like it should be understood that regardless of the fact of we're dating or not and like you you are entitled to somebody's body or whatever is like that's your boundary and that's my boundary yep. so I feel as though the consent shouldn't fly out the window all the way if somebody is saying no regards of the situation people should understand that like boundaries are important and if you're not taking the time to actually, like, thrive in those boundaries or create a said, because I feel like that's that's another thing too. People don't, people don't create boundaries no more these days. Unfortunately. I mean, I mean, what you what you trying to dive into? I know what that phase me. I mean, and I'm gonna get to y'all. I see y'all comments. I'm gonna get to them. I feel as though, cause I feel as though when I come across a lot of women in this day and age, is like there is. Quote, unquote, no good men. <laughs> but what does that mean, though? There's no men willing to commit, be honest, um, have communication. You know, there is this stigma mm-hmm. on such a thing. And I think if we as if we just created more boundaries, then we wouldn't be stuck with the feeling of such a thing. Because. Mm. I do believe there are good men out there. Mm-hmm. I believe I have one. Um, so I know they're out there, but I think it's the boundary and just setting those boundaries up front. Mm-hmm. 
and not letting them think that they can toy with you because a man that thinks he can toy with you will well, toy with you. <laughs> so what do you say to what do you say or how do you feel about the perspective of somebody who has boundaries mm-hmm. but they don't even like they they make their boundaries known mm-hmm. but they don't reinforce their boundaries. I mean relationships are malleable and they take work. So if you think and that's and that's your own judgment honestly. If you think that person is capable of checking all the things off your list, then maybe that's worth taking a chance on. But if he's showing, like, basic things that's just, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> he don't even listen to you. Like, he don't even care to listen to the y'all. Basics. Like, the basics. Mm-hmm. Like, like, really, like, he has a poor communication skill now. And I realize some men, you know, we can try to use this excuse as, you know, he works these so many hours blase 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 but if he is really pursuing you and he wants to pursue that, you that part he's going to show it prime he's example he's going to take that little time out of his day that he has to either text you tell you that he thinking about you plan some on a day that he is available you know it will be it will you will know mm-hmm. you will know prime example when we first started dating i was working i was working at the airport 10 to 12 hour shifts every day I think different strokes had just took off or we had out we was just on the gig a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So I was in a I was in a band that was starting to do really well, get traction. And I had I, well, I had a lot of stuff. Even even doing my whole look, I had a lot of stuff going on. And she where she lived and where I worked at and where I lived at the time was about like what, thirty, forty five minutes away. Yeah. And there was not a day where I did even if I was on my job, like there was not a day where I wasn't calling or like texting or at least checking up on it and showing and like Showing interest, cause I, mm-hmm. I feel as though it's like if you're not, I don't know. I feel like it's it's real easy to tell, at least to me. I feel like it's real easy to tell if somebody's into you or not. But I feel like the problem comes as far as when we talk about reinforcing boundaries, like when mm-hmm. somebody's infatuated with somebody, or let's say they had sex already, digmatized uh-huh. with somebody. Okay. You know? But where are you going? So what I'm saying is like, well, just kind of to reinf- talk mm-hmm. about the reinforcement of mm-hmm. the boundaries, but like, I don't feel like I said before, I don't feel like obstacles are excuses. No, I don't feel like the obstacles are. I think obstacles are made to, you're going to prove, obst- to yeah, prove to, yourself. To prove yourself. Like you got to get around them. You got to mm-hmm. find a way to reach the person in mm-hmm. a sense. You have to figure out what they like, figure out what they don't like. You know, you have to actually want to be in a relationship. Right. You can't just, it's not a one-sided thing. You know, if you are trying to seek out traits in this person and see if you're actually compatible, then you... You got to test the waters. You You have to. Like, I just, I think people are kind of stuck in this idea of a fairy tale, Mm -hmm. a happily ever after, and it do take work. It does. (laughs) It's not something that just happens overnight. It takes effort. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. At all. <laughs> now, we're going to break off into a, a tangent real quick. You can tell who's in the healthy place and who's not. Big facts. Also, if we haven't got to y'all comments or stuff like that, please put it again. It's like the, it's a it's a different type of setup I have today. So I can't really like watch and take. I should have grabbed your phone. It's over there. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab your phone. <laughs> Give me a second. Right now. So I can actually watch it on the thing. Mm-hmm. And then keep track like that. But I segue to say this to y'all. Quick little break before we get back to some other um some other questions. Uh, this little meter right here. If y'all tap the screen, it should fill up. That's the only job y'all got to do. Just fill that meter up real quick, and that pushes us further into the algorithm. It gets more people in here, so we can better the conversation. But um, that's all I ask y'all to do. I don't really have any house rules or anything like that. Normally, I let people go live with me and stuff like that. But this is my guest for today. And I don't have the team or the system to e- actually even hear what y'all would have to say and set up the microphone so we can both hear y'all. But we, we might do that tomorrow. It depends. I'll set up something. But other than that, somebody said you can tell who's a he- who's in a healthy place and who's not. How going going off of that, and it doesn't have to be a perfect answer. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Like what what is actually telling who's in a healthy place and who's not? What do those signs look like? I think communication is a big part of who you can tell is in a healthy place because like I think that's one of the basis of a relationship mm-hmm. like how y'all communicate with each other and what y'all are communicating to each other mm-hmm. is a big thing right so 
because just because you two are in a relationship or three, four, or however many is in the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, right. it's very easy for outside people to manipulate your relationship if you don't have good communication. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to try to spin some stuff in a relationship. And it's very easy to just get, I guess, confused on certain situations. And if it is understood mm -hmm. before it even gets to that point, then you leave out a lot of that extra just drama or just mess. So I think a healthy place I was just about to ask you that. is when you're able to communicate with your partner effectively and y'all don't have to worry about them thinking that you're trying to do it maliciously mm -hmm. but you don't like you can't like if you being malicious then you being right, malicious exactly but not saying like it's constructive cons 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 constructive criticism, criticism. <laughs> <laughs> constructive <laughs> criticism mm -hmm. so I think that is good because some people don't know how to take criticism yes at all and you know we had to work on that in our relationship because we both stubborn Yes, we are. So, but we had to realize that neither one of us is trying to help hurt each other. We're mm -hmm. trying to better each other so that we can become a better unit. And I think I think that's what a healthy place looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you 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 can't just tell sometimes. Right. No, but I, I get but I talked about that a few days ago. If you guys was up in here, we talked Oh, thank I'm just seeing that. Thank you for the rose. It's, I'm looking on here, I'm not looking on there. Sorry, y'all. But thank you for the for the rose. Everybody that's uh, throwing out the gifts and stuff. And thank y'all for the likes too and the shares and the joint. But a lot of people following. Thank y'all. I'm seeing, I'm just looking at all of this. Thank y'all. Y'all like when she here? I'm gonna have to bring you on here more often. We getting <laughs> followers and everything. But uh, that made me forget my question. What was I about to say? You just talking about healthy places. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. That that just threw me off. I ain't gonna lie. What's going on, Kay? I see you. All right, y'all. So I forgot what I was about to say, but I'm, I'm gonna say something else. So let's get let's get a little messy. Let's get a little nosy. So what do you feel like? Eh, okay, I gotta read this right. What do you feel like was like the biggest hurdle I had to overcome to communicate properly with you? Mm, the biggest hurdle. Mm -hmm. Or our method of execution. Well, how do you want to think about it? Cause I'm a lot, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm I'm a lot to be in a relationship with. I kid you not. I'm, our communication has been so good lately. Like I'm trying mm -hmm. to. I have to really. We've been working on it. I'm trying to think. Uh, think back to like, because I want to say our our. Oh, she said pretty game. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I I want to say around year one one and a half we started kind of like really having to start the process. I will. Quote unquote puppy dog phase was long. Yeah, we it was long. Yes, it's, we, we I did. mean, it's still going on. You know, if I'm, you feel me, it's still going on. But like, but that little beginning you know, stage yes, before yes. a problem came out, it was long. I think. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what was the first like hurdle or like the first, what do you feel like I had to do better? to communicate better with you or to or for you to understand me a little bit better in communication when we first started dating? I think, I mean, we talked a lot mm -hmm. and I think it was because we, we've known each other a long time, but we never, we never knew each other until mm -hmm. we started dating. So there was assumptions on both parts on who each other was, but that quickly faded away once we actually did start talking. Mm -hmm. So, because I was a gangster in these streets, she knew I was hard up in these streets. I wasn't doing none of that. <laughs> I was, I was, I wasn't still a nerd. <laughs> is, <laughs> <laughs> but obstacles we had to overcome. I mean, we make sure you're talking into the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, we. What what are you thinking of? So I'm thinking about I ain't gonna say the specifics of it, but I'm thinking about this one particular time where New York skip that. I'm gonna go even further. You remember whenever you had first started working out with me, uh, and then like I was agitated because it was like I, my problem when I, whenever we first started dating was I. You know what? Yes, Brian. When we first. <laughs> 
<laughs> when we first started dating, he was a very much cut and dry yes. type of thing. Like yes. it was like this is the way it is. This is the way it should be. This is the way it's going to be type thing. I've gotten and better. For me, that was never going to work because I am very opinionated and I have my own viewpoints and not trying to say neither of us is right nor wrong, but we had to get to a ground where it was like, okay, this works, but if we add a little bit of this, it could work better. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, Because we both like, I felt like the biggest hurdle for me at first was missing my opportunity to express how I feel and then chew because you know I be in my head a lot so like Mm -hmm. I'll chew on it for like days or like weeks like still to this day I can recall a moment specifically for what it was years ago that's just how I am and like I would wait until something else that she did or something else that that just happened to bother me was to be like the straw on that broke the camel's back and then I just like fly off which was really 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 bad yes going back to that day at the park yes you I didn't mean to make her cry, but she cried. Y'all felt so bad. He should have felt bad. I was hurt. (laughs) (laughs) But he concealed his emotions a bit. And that's why when it would come out, it would come out just like aggressive. So that was something that we had to get an understanding about. Like, you know, just being more open with our feelings about certain things and not letting it just ride and just keep building and building until mm-hmm. you really just can't take it no more. Like yeah. that can cause a breakup, <laughs> a quick breakup, <laughs> a very quick breakup. But luckily we, we hashed it out. We hashed it out. I wasn't letting you go nowhere. We <laughs> <laughs> Almost ran that go off. Y'all. <laughs> yeah. We hashed it out. You know, we talked about it. We, got to a better understanding and we got better Mm -hmm. and once again y'all the comments now that i have a better way of monitoring it uh comments questions anything y'all want to ask as we go throughout the show just feel free to comment and then you know i'll just do my thing like that and get back to it and i'm about to do something right now um somebody said some people are good at communication but not comprehension i think comprehension Mm. is more important and i and i and i agree with that because for the longest time i feel as though i would say so much i would say like paragraphs stories Mm -hmm. of how i felt but like i wouldn't convey it in a way to where you can understand it if that makes sense yeah because we we are very different people but we are also very like in a lot of ways Mm -hmm. so the spice so the way he expressed his emotions and the way i express my emotions (laughs) are very different like we have very different love languages, mm-hmm. so you look at a computer record, and I pull them up, and we'll dive into that. <laughs> I should—I didn't even think to do that. So the way he expressed his emotion, the way, I had to learn that just because I was hearing it a certain way, that's not the way he meant it. And I had to work on being clear too, because like looking back on certain instances to where like. Prime example, whenever we was trying to get into, when we had first moved into the house Mm -hmm. and we was trying to get into the habit of like, not necessarily who has what chore, but like the routine of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, how to clean, like, cause I can clean one way and to me it's clean, but to her it's different. You know, or like I can fold, like just the little little simple things, but that can potentially cause a problem. And I would express myself, execute things in certain types of ways and we would just butt heads on it. But then I had to get to the point to where it's like, all right, so Here's what I'm doing and like how can we better understand each other in that area so we don't butt heads. But also I I was told that I was type A. Huh? I was told I was type A. I don't know if I'm type A, but I was told I was type A. You talking about that stuff uh Hester said? No, not not Hester. It wasn't Hester. But you know, I like things a certain way. She does. Um, I like I like everything a certain way. Honestly. Sure, but see, it makes sense because like to me it's not a it's not a a bad thing or a con because you're a designer. Well, I, I, I don't think it's a bad thing either. But like when you have when you're living with somebody mm-hmm. and they don't do it the way you do it. Ch- towels. Let's talk about towels. <laughs> if that, we really want to dive really, into that's it, that's really what I was thinking. Oh about. my god! But you know, I, I let loose on the towels. I've been folding towels good lately. I've learned. You to, gave me a compliment I, recently. I have learned to love the way you fold. Wow! Them. So you don't really don't like the way I fold. <laughs> no, no, towels. no. At first it was horrible, but you, you have gotten better. I'll go grab that towel right now and show you and show y'all how You've I fold towels. A lot better. Would it be the way I would fold it? No. 
but I can appreciate the progress he has made with folding. And let's not get this misunderstood. I'm a clean person. I'm, I, I'm organized. I know, I'm just not is. her version of organized. It's, yeah, just, it's just different. Because I could fold the hell out of a, a, a doggone towel. I go grab that towel right now. <laughs> fold it on your behind. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead <laughs> Somebody said out there a couple, yes, we've been dating for going on four years. We, I mean, we're actually about to get married. Mm-hmm. What a ring is. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I got the promise ring on. Mm-hmm. I got you a ring before. I'm about to. Y'all, hold on, wait, because I feel like this is going to paint me in such a bad light. <laughs> Look. <laughs> We want to get married a certain type of way. And she wants to be proposed to a certain type of way. So uh, it's not that I'm not trying to. It's not that I'm not trying to. It's just that I want to do things the right way. But as far because we, we both don't believe in like one being engaged too long, but being just dating too long and, and it not going nowhere. Let's just put a disclaimer because you're not about to paint me like, oh, he's so holistic, but he don't. Well, we are. Oh, look, we are on the same page. We know. I'm we like, know you, can, you can say it. I'm just looking for questions. <laughs> we know we are going we're in the process of getting everything established Mm -hmm. and getting everything in line so that when we do get married, it just, it it feels the way we want it to feel. Exactly. So, yeah. I'm I'm scrolling back up to y'all question. We got like 20 questions out of me. So let me get to, are there a couple? Yes, we are. Just answer that. Please don't give me clues slash hints without clearly defining them. That's, that's, ooh, man. Yeah, I think, I don't like that. (laughs) <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't. No, I really don't. Like, if you want to tell me something, just tell, tell me. me. Yeah. Just tell me. Like, I I don't got time to be second guessing and overthinking because when somebody, if you leaving clues, first of all, it's a clue. Right. You can either get it or you're not gonna get it, or you could think it's something completely different. Mm-hmm. So that is a very that's that's a miscommunication. That's a fight starter for yeah. all of y'all. That's like. Thinking about and look, we not no relationship consoles or nothing like, but we've been dating each other for a while and like that's a fight starter because the, I know with me, I don't like what I call gray areas. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Like I like yeses and I like noes. Like the one of the little minor things, even though it's not exactly in detail what I was talking about with this, but one of the little minor things that you did that you you don't do it as much, but like you be like, what is? It? I think it's sure. You be like sure. sure. Yeah, I be like, oh yeah, you are you home? No, you want to eat this and the third? Sure. But but you see, my sure. Is because, like, sometimes when it comes to food, I'll be like, I'm not really hungry, but I could eat. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> I'm always ready to eat. Because, look. But you don't like the word sure. I don't. Because <laughs> it's not definite. Because, like, I mean, fellas, y'all know how it is. It's like, if I'm out, especially if she's not in the car with me, and I'm out and about, hey, you want something to eat? I'm going to blah, 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 blah. Or I'm going to pick this up. You want to, you know, we could cook when we get home, blah, blah, blah. Sure. Huh? Like, but given, you know, we live in an area where it's like... The food options are horrible. Yeah. It's like, horrible. We in the like South, y'all. You either going to cook what you want or you going to go out. There's no in between. Mm-hmm. There's like, y'all got like the Whole Foods and we got to drive to Whole Foods. Yeah, but, like, we have to drive, drive to... Y'all got the Sprouts and all of that. We got neighborhood Walmart. <laughs> we got, uh, there's a whole bunch of chick It's fast food everywhere. So if you're not going... The only, the only place I, I could say that for sure, I know we can get healthy choices... Even though we do pick out from time to time, it's like when we go to El Mexicano, not El Mexicano, uh, La Hacienda, like all the all the like the the little Spanish cuisine places, like we're, they're they're better in options as opposed to what's around us. But it's pricey. Yeah, I mean we we stay in the south, so I mean like plate lunches. It's a some thing. Other food and it'd be cheap for a whole bunch of garbage. It really, I mean. I'm not gonna call it garbage. I mean, it do taste good, but it's not healthy. It's, yeah, it's, it's not, not it's healthy. Not, it's not healthy. No, it's not healthy. We because we gonna we gotta keep it real. <laughs> But I'm oh, let me move to the next question. Uh, what's one thing the other person said that you still reflect on, like a compliment or a question? Oh, um, that's this is a good question. Hold up, now I really gotta think on that. Compliment or a question? I think for me it was more so the way you compliment me because like I I don't how can I put this into words? It's like you'll compliment me without complimenting me, but then you'll compliment me directly. Cause like you, you, she's not as words of affirmation as I am. I'm gonna give you a paragraph. I'm gonna give you a novel. You know what? No, you know what I'm thinking about yeah. Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, no. tw- it was twenty. It was twenty nine, twenty nineteen. I want to say Valentine's Day. It was Day. not twenty nineteen. Twenty eighteen. It was right before we made. It was right before we made two years. I want to say so. I had to be eighteen nineteen. Okay, fine. It was somewhere right there, y'all. Y'all, yeah, as y'all know, like I said earlier, she's DIY. She likes to build stuff, all that type of stuff. I had built, I had took my time. I'm talking about, now look, I'm the, that's not my forte. 
I'm not like no, it's I'm not. not no, you ain't got to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no big construction person. I don't do all that type of stuff. But like, you know, I'm, I'm holistic, music, technology, nerdy stuff. That's my stuff. And then, oh, what's, what's up, Raven? I see you. I ain't even, I don't even see the, uh, the hey. name, but I know the picture when I see it. What's up, Raven? Um, you got to get on one of these too. But I had made it like this, what I called the Lake of Love. It was like a whole bunch of like little wood pieces. And then I put like the little, what's the little marble stone? The little stony marble smooth things at the bottom. And pebbles. then I, the little, yeah, the little pebbles. And then I, I had like the little um, succulents. I had put them around and it was about, about like that big. And I had a letter. I had like, I had like a plethora of letters in there. Like all the reasons why I love you. And this, that, and the third. <laughs> and that girl that I'm talking about, oh, that's nice. I'm like, what you mean? That's nice. I took my time with that. I took all my, oh, thank you for the love. That's lemon. Thank you, lemon. Shout out to lemon. Lemon in the bit. Lemon, this is my beautiful woman, Amber, that I be talking no. about. Uh, lemon is, y'all, lemon is amazing. Please go follow her. Lemon is amazing. But I took my time. I took my time. I'm sitting there thinking, like, y'all should have seen me. I had just came off of like a fresh little 12 hour shift from the airport. I had went straight to Walmart and I think Hobby Lobby because we were still living in the, in the city city at the time. And then I just, I took Can my I see time. my side? Can I see my tell side? Tell your side then. I worked hard. You know, God, dog, it, <laughs> I appreciated the effort. It didn't feel like it in the moment. I'm pretty sure it didn't because I didn't. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure it did not come off that way. But I appreciated the sentiment behind it. But I am a person that listens. So, and observes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to buy a gift that I feel as though you actually want. And can use. And can use. I've learned that now. I've, like, I, I've learned that with her now. I like stuff that is not just novelty. I like, and that's just me. Like, a mm -hmm. ring is probably the most novelty thing that I want. And that's her side of the story. And it makes sense. Cause I now here's why. Here's why. I'm gonna ask you. What? And remember, you still gotta answer this question too. Sure. But I'm, I'm gonna ask you this one question before you answer that question. <laughs> what um. <laughs> What what was that gift? What was the gift? Or what was the moment where, like, you felt as though I finally understood how you appreciate things, like gifts and stuff like that? And what what did I do? Or what was the gift that, that helped you understood, that I understood? That you understood? It was when you bought me the drill set. Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about? But I get I get it now, though. So, now, now what was more important? The drill set or the, or the setup of the presentation? Cause I had, do you remember I did like the rose petals from the door with the candles? No, that, that, no, that was my, that wasn't the drill set. What was that? That was the circular saw. You right, you right, you right. We, the drill set was the red, the craftsman. Yeah. That was but, after that's reason. Yeah, but I like the craftsman too. I, I, you see, it's not here, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Uh, did I just randomly get that. What did I get? I got that for you, Bert. When I got that for you. You got me the circular saw for my birthday. Mm, the craftsman. You got me the craftsman for Valentine's Day. I don't know why I got them mixed up. I thought the no. I got the circle ones for Valentine's Day. But either way, I learned my lesson. But you got to answer the question. The question was, um, where's what's one thing the other person said that you still reflect on, like a compliment or a question? And I'm getting this questions from y'all in the comment section. So as y'all comment and go, I mean, we answering and, try, and trying to get to them. Like a compliment or a question? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going. So, well, in her in her defense, because I know my baby, she don't. If she was really reflecting on it like that, it would have came out like that. But she don't really like she don't really chew on the past like that. If I'm if if that's the best way of saying it, like you don't really reflect on the past a lot. Yeah, I really don't, and I. It's best for me at least to not. I, of course, there are things that. I can like. Go the back on yeah, yeah, like the foundation of our relationship that has built us thus far, but it's like to think about something that stuck with me as like a compliment. You see, he he just compliment me. He compliment me a lot. I do. So I do like every day, and I be meaning it too from the bottom of my heart. But I guess the best compliment is when he notices things that are small. I like. Mm -hmm. I like the small acknowledgments. Like, if I took, like, this is not something, but if mm -hmm. I took my time on, like, this one part on a piece of furniture and he noticed mm -hmm. a little detail on it, like, th that gets me. I ain't all the way there yet. <laughs> but, I, but look, I do be noticed, like, what that was I noticed recently. It was it was something in the kitchen. Was it the little shelf thing that you had finished? Did I notice it before or no? Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Or was the... It was not the shelf. It was something. It was something she had crafted. 
And when I tell y'all, I was like, oh, okay. That's that's what time we on right now? Because, like, like I said, for y'all that don't know, she does, like, everything. Design, renovation, like, that's that's her that's her jam. And, like, Amber.Days on TikTok. D-A-Z-E. Amber.Days. And y'all see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, she building customized closets from scratch. Like, I don't. She got the Lord bless her with that. But we're going we to move on. We're going to move on. You know, well, I think it might have been it might have been Rama Closet. That clo- did you didn't post that yet? No, I haven't. Y'all, posted, when haven't she posted, posted that, anything in a while? Oh my god, when she posted that, bro, like y'all gotta understand. I'm a, y'all. When she posts, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see because I could. Y'all could go on her page right now and kind of get a glimpse. But I, I probably would say that closet is more detailed and better than Kiara's closet. Well, it's not as big because I think Kiara got a bigger closet, does she not? No, she had a way bigger closet, but I mean, I also wasn't able to finish. Yeah, you're Kiara's right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So it's different, but it's uh, fire. Watch when y'all see it, it's fire. Yeah, so let's see. Somebody said, What's most important to y'all, liking or loving your partner? I would say loving your partner because there's days where we don't like each other, but we still love each other. Yes. I think the love overshadows, like, but I do think mm-hmm. it's important to like your partner. Yeah, well, okay, <laughs> if we're understanding your, your question correctly, I feel as though if you're, if you're moving as far as, like, okay, liking as far as being attracted, like, the basics of attraction, then, of course, but I even then, I would still say you have to eventually get over that mm-hmm. and and let the, the foundation be the love, you know? Yes. Because, I mean, look there, at her. She's very attractive, but I, I love her more than I like her, you know? There is. There is days where we don't like each other. There is days where we are just in our own heads and we have to get through something. And she's strong, (laughs) y'all. I don't look. Don't let the little uh, the little cuteness and the soft shot that got strong. We ain't never put our hands on each other like that. But look, there's been days where we didn't bump shoulders and like she's strong. She we was play wrestling with some feelings behind it and she's strong. When I I ran past you. (laughs) I was just thinking about that. <laughs> uh, quick story before we get to the next question. I almost died. He did not I almost, almost died. died. You see, he was he was trying to hide in a corner, and he thought I was going to just walk past. I like jump But scanner. I knew he was there, so I ran. <laughs> it wasn't just your average run. It was like, I don't know how she got. See, y'all, y'all, I'm not showing y'all my house. But, like, the distance from where that sofa is in the corner of the living room to our bedroom is you don't just – you don't just get there. It's like you got to, like, to get there as fast as she did and move that fast, you got to be hauling behind. <laughs> and, like, she was just, you know, I was like, you know what? If I get it in between this door frame, I'm going to die because she don't stop. That that thing's strong. She don't, you know what? That, but it is what it is. I bet you won't do it again. I bet, bet you won't, you won't do it again. Uh, no, I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> um, green is all. What's going on, my man? Same, super particular. Me too. Just let me do it so it's done right. Y'all, see y'all I'm saying? I know they're talking about them towels. Yes, they're talking about the towels. Y'all wrong for that. No, because it's a fact. They live together. I'm new if it was already. Yeah, we li- yeah we live together. Yes. Uh, God damn, bro, that's a lot. I got to scroll back up. It is a very different adjustment when you decide to live with somebody. Cute couple. Blues clues. What we said? Hold up, blues. I don't get it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, the clues. Oh, from early. <laughs> yeah. You funny. She been up in here talking like that. You funny. Somebody said it's a vibe. Hit that follow button because, look, she coming back. I'm noticing even the, the viewer retention. Like, y'all y'all different up in here today. Y'all acting different because Miss Day's in the building, but that's fine. It's um, the energy. Right. Sure seems a little passive. I get it. It leaves a little doubt. Okay, you're talking about the gray areas. Y'all have great chemistry. It's nice to see a healthy couple. It's nice to be a healthy couple because, look, we worked on this. Yes. We worked because I ain't going to lie, y'all. I had to come a long way. I really did. Like, and I'm we not. Both had to come a long but I, way. I feel as though like my my mental habits was like a really like a big hurt I had to get through because yes. I was really insecure in certain areas due to my past. So it was like I would kind of I would overdo it so much, you know. I like just be like just doing what don't need to be done. Yes, but in your defense, it was people have a hard time distinguishing leaving the past from the present. Mm -hmm. So you having to feel as though you had to do certain things before or I don't even know. And then you thought you had to do it with me and then you realize (laughs) that you did. So we've gotten, we've gotten (laughs) past that because it's it's a lot of, it's a lot of work that's been having to be done. And 
I, I really like, especially lately, because like the I ain't going. Now nah, that's a conversation I'm not gonna go into. The conversation we had like a few nights ago, but that, I'm not getting to the specifics of that. But yeah. that was a true testament, and even the conversation that when we came back from Brooklyn, how the day, I think of the day after that. Yeah, like that's that's a true testament to like. Cause us trying to have that conversation years ago, it would th- that would have been hell. <laughs> that would have been an argument. Yeah, it would have been bad. That would have been an arg- a straight up argument. We uh, wouldn't have went. We wouldn't yeah, have went to sleep happy. Nah, <laughs> we, and, and that's another the thing too. The fact that we had this conversation before we went to sleep. <laughs> but, and that's the thing is like I wasn't like, and it was the I, to me the funniest part was like watching your reaction as you saw how I received what you said, you know, because like. Even though she don't show it a lot, she pays really close attention to how I react to certain things that she say. And, like, I saw that it, it was good to see, like, your shoulders relax. Because, like, I know how she's really protective. Even if even if it's something she has to tell me, she's very protective over my, my feelings. Like, she actually cares. Reasons why I really love her because she's one of the only people I've ever dated that actually knows the inner workings of my emotional state and how I perceive love and affection. And, like, it felt good to see you one also take that that just open up in a sense you know what i'm saying it's like you opened up in great detail because she know how mm-hmm. i am so like you opened up in great detail you wasn't malicious about it you wasn't aggressive and you didn't demean me in any type of way but you did get your point across mm-hmm. without you know there's just so many other ways you could have went about it you know and like the fact that we had that conversation and i went into koala bear mode apparently that's an inside joke we might explain that later <laughs> but like you know we that happened and then it's like the next day, I ain't gonna say like nothing happened, but like it was a very pleasant morning the next morning. And then the conversation with Kenny and all of that, like that's, that just, to me, that's a big sign of like where we at as opposed to us having this conversation. Hell, when we first moved into the house, you yeah. know, cause that was a whole nother thing. I will also, I mean, I learned how to communicate. I think that was one of my things cause I can be very blunt. Very. And very unaware how I come off sometimes but in my relationship you know I didn't I I had I had to put some effort in that area because I realized that how I was saying things was coming off the wrong way and was being taken the wrong way so and I can only fix myself and Mm -hmm. I think people forget that like that's big that's big because you can't change nobody. Yeah. So for me, for my partner to feel better about how I'm communicating, you know, I just figured out a new way on how to communicate because it's like you can say the same thing, but just in a different way and somebody will take it completely different. Ain't that something? Yeah. And, and, but I'm saying ain't that something like we didn't go through it. But like, but, but even still, it, it's like, it's, it's, it's a really, process. Yeah, it is. It's really, it's actually really amazing. Like how you can reword something <laughs> and say the exact same thing exact but it comes off completely thing. different but it does you know you have to know trigger words you get, i never thought about it like that i never yeah. thought about like trigger words yeah some like you got like sure is a trigger word for you <laughs> i just don't like it yeah you don't I, like i just like, don't it's, like it's, how it's not, the, it's, it's not definite yeah you don't like the word so that can be described as a trigger word mm-hmm. so you know i don't like it there are way worse words then sure, but <laughs> <laughs> it just bothers me. <laughs> but you know, I'm trying to, that is one of his. So I'm I don't trying to think I, on something in particular that you have. It is. It is a Man. word that's in my vocabulary, so it's, it's a little hard to get out. But I know, and I had to be patient. But there's <laughs> one particular. I'm trying to remember that instance. You, I forgot what we was talking about, and you said sure, and like I just, I couldn't even get sentences out my mouth you because know, I got agitated. You want to know why I think you're agitated with the word sure? Because I do use it in different scenarios. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, not it's yeah, not consistent. It's, it's, yeah, it's not always the same. Like I'll <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'll use it when when I do want to be like, sure. And then I'll use it. Ooh, <laughs> God, I swear to God. Boy. <laughs> and then I'll use it like sure. So so you admitting that you no, use it as a tactic yes, sometimes. But maybe, you know, it's it's how you say it. You gotta You, you can't gotta go back it. no no. You gotta no. listen for it. It's it said a, a, a different way. We're gonna talk about this <laughs> off the camera. Cause look, not that I know. All right, I got some. I got some for you. I got some for you. Raven said, "Oh, hey, Mama Shack, what's going on, Mama Shack?" Raven said, "Hey, friends. Hey, Ra- hey, Ray, we miss you for real, for real." We don't. We don't. Um, I'm talking about all the laughing emojis up in here. Uh, is gifts not her primary love language? No, it's not. No, it's, gifts, it's gifts act- is your primary. Love. Well, mm, 
Words of affirmations and gifts is like right there. But 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 okay, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm gonna go off with gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is act of service. Yeah, mine's is definitely acts. Cause look, I already know the combo. If I come through with the food, like say we go on a date, and then we come back, the house already can say we clean before that. We take our little shower. I give a little massage, and we sit down and watch. We've been on Game of Thrones lately, but like mm. if we sit down and go watch something like that, good. We good. But but let me mm-mm. you got it's a certain way you got to do it because like if I do massage then shower or Game of Thrones then shower. see it throw off the momentum you know it all got to lead up to you going to sleep and that's one thing I'm envious about we had to babysit my dog on mama uh dog this past that weekend and that Mr. Bentley that little <laughs> blankety blank <laughs> hollered <laughs> till three o'clock in the morning I only got three out and y'all but know apparently me apparently he is a he a house house dog you know. He's sleeping in bed. Child. He wasn't sleeping out. Not in out. We got so, y'all already know my dogs. Where they at? He was very upset that he had to sleep in the kennel. So, you know, he was gonna be he upset. did what he did, and but I didn't hear him, so that was And she could sleep through hurricanes. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. But let me move out the bed. <gasps> like she'll pop up quick. I don't I don't understand That's the trick. That's instinctual. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get what you got because <laughs> I only got three hours of sleep and I was not feeling it. I was not feeling it at all. Um, let me see. A, the power tools. That's what I'm talking about. Just realizing I'm the same way. I give people I give people gifts they can use perfectly every day. Mm-hmm. Same here. I tend to give functional and practical gifts. I get yelled at when it's for kids. Wait, whoa. Yeah, get <laughs> no kid. Kids hate them gifts. Kids, oh, from the kids. No, oh. no. When you give kids practical gifts, like I like I like to give kids practical gifts too. Like I don't know something they're gonna actually socks. use like socks. I, but I look, I'm a sock head. I love socks, especially like, but not no plain socks. Give I'll, me like some some designer I'll give socks. Furniture. They like it don't like kids like what they like. They like most games, games, video games. They like toys. Toys, you know. We talking like we don't know, <laughs> but like it's just thinking about it on the spot is annoying. I need to. I still need to get Colin. That's to because I don't. That's because I don't per se partake in those gifts. Not at all. I don't partake in those like. I need to find kind of some comic books, but I'm gonna get him an emulator. We already had talked about that. Let me see. Uh, love it. I'm here for the boost in her craft. You better, y'all better understand. Y'all go. I'm telling you, go look at her page, y'all. I'm not just. It's that's been one thing. a minute. But it, it has, and she about to get back on it yeah. whenever she decides to. But like, I'm telling y'all, I'm not. I'm her boyfriend. Yes. Do I appreciate what she does, and do I think she does it well? Yes. But even in our relationship, I don't hype up stuff that's not actually good. That's just me. I'm not about to sit there and and be like, oh, blah, 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 and gas this up and it's really whack. I don't do that. And, like, for her and the level of which she portrays her talent is different. Like, y'all just got to go to her page. Y'all just got to go to her page. I'm telling y'all, Amber.Daze, D-A-Z-E. I'm not going to lie. It is mostly, what well, they have DIY and thrifting on there. Mm-hmm. My new wave of stuff is going to be slightly different. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you thought you were about to announce something else. I was like, what is it changing again? No. What were the hardest things to get used to living together? I'm gonna let you go first on the that hardest, one. What? what was she said? What was uh, what were the hardest things to get used to living together? Uh, There's one I can't say, but I'm not gonna say. But I'm gonna skip to another one. The hardest thing about living together, I'm gonna just say the kitchen. Look, the kitchen as a room. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen as a room. Yeah, as just a whole, it was just. As far as how we function in it, or just the actual kitchen itself. Just how we was functioning in it. Because it was just a process. It was just a process. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think because that's one I want to say, but I'm not. I'm not saying that on here. Uh, hardest thing to living together. Hmm. I Ooh! think you know. I, say, say what you about to say. No, I'm about to say what I think you had a hard time with. What? Like with me? Like, because I randomly just redo stuff in the house. But I don't know if that's really... It It wasn't a problem, but I had to... It was like, I'm a routine type of person. So it's like, I go to do something and it's not there or mm-hmm. it's moved around, it would throw me off. Mm-hmm. But no, that I, it's not really a problem. My problem was, even if I couldn't fit the shirt, somebody took one of my favorite shirts. You can't fit it no more. Even though I couldn't fit you it. You can't fit it no and more. And it was a night shirt. You can't fit it no more. And I have yet to get that shirt back. You can't fit it no more. What, what some, you complaining about? Cause it's my shirt. You can't fit it no more. <laughs> Yo, I had to look. When it come down to clothes, I just let it be what it is at this point. If she, if she, what that was for the light, we went to the Kendrick Lamar concert. Uh huh. No, I gave you that. I can't fit that. Is that you still my? Is that still my jacket? You can't 
fit it. So she wore that jacket that used to be mine. You packed my hat. You wore my hat. This hat, actually. You can't. Okay. You can't. Um, I'm trying to think. The list goes on, but that was my that was my favorite Dragon Ball Z shirt. I would say that he, one look, of my favorite. You know the you know the crazy part is even when we were dating, he never could fit it. All throughout the whole time you we were dating, about, he could never you ain't about fit to put it. Me out like that. <laughs> she telling the truth, but it was my shirt. I the could thing be was a crop top. It was not a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to wear no crop top. <laughs> It was a little, it was a schmedium, but you know. It, was it a, showed the V. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> it does look good on it, I will say. Um, Health ain't easy, man. My boyfriend and I are in the beginning stages. Hey, I feel that. I feel, especially like coming together. Like that was, our biggest problem is that like, I can eat the same thing over and over again. And especially when I'm in like macro mode, like just trying to, when I was trying to bulk and all that type mm-hmm. of stuff. Like that is a, that is a problem. Like I feel like we kind of. We're not all the way through it yet, but, like, because we have a habit of eating together. Like, even if I'm hungry, I'll get agitated because she's not hungry yet. And I, like, we just, like, sitting down and eating with each other and talking. Mm-hmm. That's, like, one of our, excuse me, one of our biggest, like, just bonding moments. And. I mean, it's one of those definite times in the day where we actually can not, just sit yeah. down and. Because sometimes we yeah. both be working and eating and talking at the same time. But, um, I feel like that's, that was, like. And we kind of get over, but that was like the hardest thing at first, especially when I first started like trying to get to 180. Mm-hmm. When I first started like working out with Scotty and stuff like that, and it just it, the the advice I would give to you is this: find stuff that y'all both like, and then try to mic well macro manage or micro manage off of that. Because child, oh my god, like I got so sick of having to just what we gonna eat and then switching to this, that, and the third, and I'm like. I could just eat the same thing we ate yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and yes. be fine. Not her. He not is. her. You know, you're not even that way no more. I'm not as much, <laughs> but I'm, I, I know like I know because I'm about to go back into that boat because it's about to get cold. Well, you I'm know, knowing how it's going to get. You can eat your repeat meals. You can go ahead and eat your repeat we, meals. We, we talked about this the last time. And guess what happened about like what? A month? I'm tired of eating this. It's like, what do you want to eat something else? And the then the key it, word was, you can eat your repeat meals. All right. Meals. All right. I, and I'm going to let y'all know how that go when we start balking. I'm going to best believe she coming back on this live once it happens. Keep that, keep that same energy. I don't, I know I don't like to eat the same meals over and over again. Mm-hmm. That's why I keep saying you. Mm hmm. Y O. We going to S E E. We going to see. What's the, what's the third letter <laughs> in the alphabet? We going to see about it. <laughs> next, next question. <laughs> She said, what's y'all signs? I'm an Aries and she's a Pisces. Yes. Now, what? I want to ask this the right way because I don't want to come off no type of way. What? What do y'all know of Zodiac compatibility? I thought we was compatible. I thought the same. Even after Jazz gave us that yeah, little chart Jazz thing. But thing. you know what I've been seeing as well? People what been saying it's like, it's only a specific type of Aries. Because y'all, I'm not big on a Zodiac. A specific type? Like, what that mean? A spe- like, I guess the where you're born at within that sign or whatever oh. that makes because like apparently Aries and Pisces can be very detrimental to each other oh. so it's either it's either yes or no and I'm guessing we the yes because it's like we here you know we did, we've yes, been doing yes. it for a while and it's and it ain't like no stage we fake happy relationship y'all if I don't like somebody I'm not with somebody and vice versa with her yes, that's yes. the thing that that helps <laughs> us out uh facts let me see mine is does that make that any sense I guess her, sh- your, your sure is because I'm, I'm looking at like older comments. Mm-hmm. Is that does that like the way you say sure is how she's saying does that make any sense? I'm trying to figure out if there's even a moment in time where like where I can even try to think about how that would work for your sure. Does that make oh when uh who we was no it was I forgot what we was trying to eat but what I was trying to eat at. And if you would, if you would have said, does that make any sense? I would have been like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hung, hung up on you. I'd be like, oh, nah, you got the door dash. So something what you're saying is you prefer, sure. <laughs> Next question. Next question. We ain't about to do this. <laughs> Same. I'm an active service girl. Uh, key to my heart. I feel like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to assume. I was about to say most women are, but I'm not even going to assume that because we live in a day and age. Most so women would. Our We're active ex- service. Mm, yeah, I don't. I'm, but I can't. I can't say that. Like it was the first thing that came to my mind because I think about how much I do for you. But then I was like, well, you're not everybody, you know. So then yeah. I kind of decipher that. Like I that. know some women that prefer gifts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my mama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. She definitely prefer gifts. She still. 
What was that purse you gave her recently? She still be toting that put that purse around? She got it just sitting in her closet. Cause she, she got buku stuff. She, yeah. Y'all gotta see her mama closet. You show you show everything whenever you when the, when the video is gonna come. Or is it just like yeah, just the I'm showing thing? everything. We still we're waiting to finish the final um shot of it because she still has to like we still have to find some other things. How long has it been since that closet has been done? Is she still not done for that? They ain't none of my business. Well, they ain't none of my business. Know. I know they ain't none of my business. I'm gonna leave it alone. Love you, Miss Winetta. Uh, <laughs> she said, "The thing you love about one uh one another the most." Ooh. One another um, the most. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It could be anything. It could be physical or whatever. I'm, I'm not even gonna put you in the box. Okay. Okay. I got. That's why I'm smiling. I got my answer already. You got your answer mm-hmm. already. Mama, let you think. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love how attentive he is. He is. Always, for the most part, aware of when I am going through something and I may not even be trying to, like, just, I don't want to talk about it. And he, mm-hmm. and he I'm won't pick up on it, but he, and if I don't want to talk about it, he won't talk about it until like, but he'll, but he knows. Mm-hmm. So. Now I feel like I'm better at that now than I was before. Cause yeah, I, I used to be intrusive. Yeah, you you. Would. And then I would get mad that she wouldn't tell me. Like that that would be an even even worse thing. Yeah, it, but has gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. So I do like how attentive he is. I like how attent- attentive you was before too. It was just like your actions of Apple. being attentive mm-hmm. was that makes another sense. thing. My the thing that I love the most about you. Is that still to this day, there has been no person that I've met, whether it be friend, relationship, whoever, where I could be 100% myself and you still love me for that. Like, how can I say this? Y'all, see, y'all know me and y'all know Coach Brian, but y'all don't know me. And not, say, and not to say, like, oh, it's bad stuff. It's like, I'm just talking about, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a niche, quirky type of person. So it's like, I make random sounds all day. It's like I'm I'm like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm <laughs> I'm screaming lyrics all day. I'm making music up in here. It's like and then she I love the fact that you accept me for me because you know how I can get. Like I have my very emotional days and all I want to do is cuddle. Mm-hmm. All I want to do is talk and then I have my distant days and I and like you un, you take the time to understand me rather than pushing me off oh this ain't going to work and blah 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 and you actually like you challenge me. Mm-hmm. You know it's like I had to get through a lot of emotional like just maturing because there were certain things that you showed showed me about myself that I just wasn't I just wasn't ready for. Or I wasn't able to execute in a certain type of way. And I love how like you every step of the way in the relationship up until now, I I literally I I'm literally dating my best friend. You know? And and it, yes. and it's that's been the vibe from day one. No, it really you know? has been. Like when the, I'm I ain't gonna say what happened. Well, I remember the first day she came over. You know, it's like we was talking. We was talking for like a no, not that, not that. Um, no, no, we not talking about that. We are not talking about that. They ain't none of y'all business. Maybe another day, but um, like we was talking. We was like texting and then Facetime. No, it was Facetime. I didn't have an iPhone at then. No, we was texting and like calling or whatever on the phone for like about two months, a month or two before you actually came over. Yeah. And then like when she came over, it's like we talk all night like we just in it and it never stopped like even today is like what y'all seeing is how we normally talk to each other it's like it's not like hey we have to put a few topics together but it's like mm-hmm. we could we talk like this every day you know it's like we get to we watch movies and we buzz jokes with each other it's like it's a real friendship before a relationship and that's what i really love about you that's what i really love about us because i i don't know i always had a hard time imagining like the person that I would end up with, and I didn't even think the person was out there. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you was mine. Look, <laughs> but it was very easy to fall in love with Brian. Really She's not about was. to make me crown this live. Next question, because I'm gonna see she pl- she know how to talk to me till I get emotional, and I'm we're not doing that right now. I gotta be I gotta be strong on TikTok. No, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I want to do something else. <laughs> Since you want to give me all in my friends, you want to ask these questions. I want to do something else. But no, we, you know, I'm, I'm actually hungry. So, uh, and especially if Chris not coming in that, we going, we eating after this. Yeah. Um, what she say? It's gone, my friend. Wait, what? Oh, the t-shirt. You talking about, Raven talking about the t-shirt. It's 
It's gone. And you're not about to get on me in these comments. Raven said it's not yours. Somebody said it's not yours no more. Move on. Let it go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank then she you. said what's yours is hers and what's hers is yours. Y'all not about to do it. Oh, she said no. And what's hers is hers. <laughs> we about to shut this live down. We about to shut this live completely down. Y'all ain't about to tag team me on my TikTok. I know that. But uh, right. let me see. What's going on, Blackface? She said, hey, y'all. Hey. Ideally, I just don't see it just from the... God, dang, these comments are... Hold on, wait. Oh. Comments on the fly in. My bad, y'all. The comments are acting crazy. Um, I'm a Pisces, Aries, cusp. That's why I'm drawn to y'all. What is, I don't even know what that means. What, what does that That's mean? That's like when you're... There's... There's certain days... Or there, like, throughout every cycle we are Wait, the no, signs no. after each other yeah, is that no, it no no no, that's not it that's okay. like i want to say Fine. it's when you're on the day where you could be a pisces and an aries it's like there's a there's a middle ground day in a sense. i never knew that yeah see i'm not being into that astrology so, so i don't i don't be i don't be knowing so y'all be saying like cusp and i'll be like okay i know the, i know what yeah. the word means yeah, but like i don't know how that is of being an aries and you're on the cusp of being a pisces oh well Good luck with that because me being according to the zodiac signs or whatever, I'm already a lot. And and not I'm not gonna say I don't fully believe in astrology and stuff like that because sign, there are some signs that goes with it that actually works with Ayurvedic medicine. But ironically, it's the fact because like not a lot, not everything applies to me. But honestly, most of the traits of Aries that's me. And it's crazy how accurate it is. I'd be like, all right. But then when I look at your stuff too, or what they have on social media, all of that. It's like it's, it's. I could say the same for you. Like it's really accurate, but it's like mm-hmm. it's like a half and half type situation. I don't. I think most people and like I know there is a lot of truth when it comes to the zodiacs, mm-hmm. but most people are very multi dimensional. That's true. So, like, yeah, I'm emotional, and that's what uh-huh. they say. And, and I, <laughs> but I think a lot of people are emotional. So. <laughs> Emotional, <laughs> but they say Pisces are really emotional. Now maybe I'm a little extra emotional. Yeah, you be crying, boy. Yeah, I do. You be crying. I do. Anything. So that girl be crying, be boy. Random stuff too. Like it could be a commercial. <laughs> like not even, like not even no period or nothing like that. There ain't no hormones raging. She just crying. I be like, all right, <laughs> all right. I see. We got to get used to this. I got emotion. Let me go back up. I'm in Aries, and every Pisces I've dated have played me. Yikes. Mm. I feel man. Oh, you said no disrespect to your girl. It's just my experience. Now I, I feel that I'm just look. I can't even recall if I've see. I'm new to this zodiac stuff. I don't even know if I've ever dated a, a Pisces other than you. Because all the other people I've dated, their birthdays was like later on in the year. I, I can't I remember dating it. nobody that's like in the in the earlier parts of the year. Because you're like right at the like you're March first. You're yeah, right at the top. I don't think I've dated a Pisces. Hmm. Man, but my my condolences, cause Jesus, that's that's tough. I would hate Pisces after that. Yeah. I've seen many women prefer gifts. Big facts. What do you uh What do you do to get through arguments? It depends. It depends. Yeah. It cause do. my thing is like I feel like you've learned that. My biggest thing is space. It's like when I can't put the words together, or if like we didn't had an argument and I was like we didn't did whatever. We typically both just take yeah, our yeah, space. Yeah, we both take space. Until we're able to come. Now, we, that's one thing about me, which I, I'm glad I don't do anymore. I'm the type to where I want to talk about it right now. But I've learned to not only give space, but I get to, I feel like I handle it better now because I have time to chew on it. Yeah. You know, does it wreck my nerves, especially if I'm in the wrong? Yes. Because I'm sitting there like, okay, I got to make sure I'm not just saying what, what I feel as though she wants me to say. I have to be truthful about how I feel in the situation because if not, you just create another problem because she don't forget stuff. You say this, you blah blah, and, I, and I'm the same way. So it just causes another argument. So like prime example, um, when we was in that phase of like you just saying that because uh, how you, you said you was like you just saying that because uh, is that what you want? Did that feel like what oh, you feel yeah, like I, I want I, to hear? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like I had to work out of that 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 horrible way of communicating with you. Yeah, it was. It was a process. It was a process. But we got so far ahead, she don't remember. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, let me get some more of these questions. There's three days between where you have personality traits of both. Oh, that's what the cusp thing means. That she was mm. talking about. I feel like that's that's hell. I mean, that's a lot. I'm not gonna say it's hell. That's well, meaning like mm-hmm. it's like you got to go through both signs. You know what I'm saying? Like it's three days. Well, that sounds like a. I mean, being a Pisces is that's enough. Amazing. <laughs> that's a. Like, it's like. <laughs> Picture you switching to theoretically what my sign is like for three days, and I picture mean, us I both being in a house like that. I think there's a balance. 
They got it. I think that's a be, fight. I think there has to be a balance to it. That's a fight. Because the only, like, I, now don't get me wrong, all the Aries, both men and women I've, I've been friends with or been with or whatever, like, it, it's been cool, but, like, we like to fight. And that's not good. Who like to fight? Aries. No, no, I'm not saying we like to fight. <laughs> but like Aries like to fight. Cause you know how I get. You know, and it's like now nah, I'm not putting I'm not saying like I be coming out sideways, but like it don't take much to rile me up. You know, so it's like Yeah, I don't like to fight. I ain't about to fight. It's no need. But <laughs> you know, it's like three days of you being like being like that and it could be something small. We in the house scrapping. I now they gotta call the amps because you didn't knock me out. That got strong, bro. Like that got strong. Now now I'm on the floor unconscious. See what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't trying to go through that, but it's all love though. I still beat you up though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the whole chart. I know it's very fitting for a Pisces. They cry, cry. <laughs> they coming for you. <laughs> Would you guys consider yourself ex- extroverts or introverts? And does that play into your relationship? We are. You can you can answer that first. I'm definitely an introvert. Yes, a like, major I, introvert. I'm a social introvert. I'll say that. Like when mm-hmm. I want to go out and be around people mm-hmm. and actually interact. Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm I'm social. Yeah, and it's I'm not social, limited to anybody. Like she's like that with everybody. Yeah. Except me. But everybody. But I'm definitely to myself. Mm. I like to be to myself. I like to work on myself. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm more extroverted than introverted, but I'm both. Because like I yeah. feel like my battery is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody leave me alone for like two, three days. And then I'm back up. You know, it's like yeah. I don't know, because I'm, I'm friendly. And, like, I've been told, like, even in times past, my mom was like, you too friendly and blah, 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 you know, with girls and stuff like that. And I'm just, like, I'm just being myself. I thought you was friendly, too, at a point. So. <laughs> You're so friendly. <laughs> if you think, if you talk about what I think you're talking about, I ain't, like, see, see, <laughs> I'm drawing a line. Well, th- that's what a line, line. is. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, yeah, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I feel like I'm an extrovert and she an introvert. And it's crazy how it works out because, like, I don't know. It's like, because I have my, I'm so extroverted at some, at times to a point to where, like, we had to get used to, like, space because, like, I would just take space or I would just come in, like, my studio in here and, mm-hmm. and be by myself. And you'd be like, what's wrong? And I'm like, but nothing. You, know, you want to know what I also think helped us in the beginning? Hmm. Like, when we first moved in, we also both had separate spaces. Before we moved the bedroom. Before, to we, it. before yeah. we moved. Because, like, the way our house is was set up was mm-hmm. we have, like, a large living room. It's huge. And we divided it into kind of like a studio space setup, kind of like, so the bedroom was in the living room and it's a two bedroom house. So we Mm -hmm. each had our own space to do whatever we wanted in. Mm -hmm. And I think that helped us. A lot. A lot. A lot, a lot. Yes, I I will say. Especially after arguments, I'd be like, slam the door and then she'll slam the door and then like third... Excuse me, like 30, like 30 minutes later, I'm sorry. I want to hug. Let's talk about it. Like, it, it's, we have come a long way, and I'm grateful for it. Yeah. She said, I'm a Pisces, too. I understand the crying aspect. <laughs> All y'all like to cry. It's therapeutic. Oh, somebody say ambivert. So I'm assuming that, like, I'm assuming that's, like, what? Oh, you see, yeah, you see, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm assuming that's both. Then I'm not strictly a. Uh, or maybe you might be talking about her. I don't know, but I'm assuming that means that. I am probably equally extroverted and introverted. Yeah. But you you're mostly introverted. Yeah, I'm with definitely everybody. I'm definitely mostly intro. Like she be chilling by herself like at a a week at a time like you ain't got to call her, you ain't yeah, got to I'm chilling. And that you know now I think about it, especially like whenever we first started dating or when we first moved in because like I was still about out and about a lot more than what I am now. Mm-hmm. And that girl wouldn't even call me. Like I had to, I had to call you. I, I mean, I knew where you was. Exactly, <laughs> and like no, and no, like no little random call in between lunch break is like no. Okay, he doing his thing, and and, and granted, I like I don't feel no type of way about it. Mm-hmm. But like that's one of the things I noticed. I was like, girl, you really could just do your thing all day and not have to hit up nobody. I don't know how she do it. I don't know how she do it because like I'm not saying I need people, but, but there's a. But I think because I be constantly doing things like that's true. So. I knew I knew you was different whenever I saw you flip that sofa upside down and was that that was the little the what is it called at the bottom? The, the little legs? net thing. Some you was oh. you was redoing some the new sofa. Yeah. Um that was the underlay. That big that big heavy sofa. It took us a while to get that thing up in here. Yeah. It took us a little But my sofa's still winning. The little section that we got, it's still raining supreme in the living room. As of now. As of now, and I'm look. <laughs> 
see how you are individually and together. I really like it, and I'm not affiliated. I just like it. Hey, hey, I rock with it. That's so necessary for me. Just moved into a two bedroom. My boyfriend didn't see the vision, but he gets it out. Hey, it takes. I'm not even gonna lie. That take time because when we first, this house looks nothing like when we first moved into here before. Because mm-hmm. like when Amber would explain certain things of how how she wants to be designed is that in the third or how she, what was her plans was for it. I'd be like, okay. And my biggest thing, honestly, was like, I ain't gonna say I don't care to say I didn't care, but it's like, as I, long as my, you know, I yeah, still have my studio I, and my workspace, look, I'm good. I know, I know. But this space, I think for, I know for most people, all the people that came here on first, when we first got it, they was like, what y'all doing? <laughs> I mean, we didn't have a refrigerator. We did not. We did I not. forgot about yeah, that. We what were we it. doing? We were going to your mama house. What yeah, we was going to my mama house, and we had an ice chest at first. You ain't lying. Yes, See, but look, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. How long it took that refrigerator to get there? It didn't take long because we wasn't about to buy. We weren't about to spend a whole bunch of money on a refrigerator, mm-hmm. so we waited till we found one that was in a decent price range. And it only took us about, like, maybe a month. Um, you know what I just remembered? The first day or two we moved in, into here, and we was waiting for the electricity to cut on because they were – the paperwork or whatever, uh-huh. and we and it was like it was cold. cold. It was cold. Oh my god, it was so cold. We, we stayed at warm house. We stayed at warm house. And we did because yeah. we, we was gonna tough it out, but then we was like, nah, we going it's to cold. yeah, <laughs> child. I'm talking about I had short, and if y'all know me, I despise anything that's cold. You need, especially when your hands be cold. Like I will literally jump out the bed and start cussing. Like I hate the cold yeah. with a passion. I am a I'm an island boy. <laughs> and like I, I don't bro that was oh my god that just brought back a very vivid memory um it's ten dollars for individuals and eighteen dollars for couples hold on what i what i missing what's she doing about? message oh, me I think for the, oh for the, the chart yeah, the, the whole yeah. chart bet we're gonna we're gonna holler at you make sure you am i see this is not my phone my phone over there i'm using her phone please make sure that you message me or something like that so i can go back well she's one of the top i'm gonna go back and see i'm gonna message you Oh, she said, yeah, for Amber, it's a mixture. She said, but well, both of y'all, the Amberbird thing. Mm. It told me I'm 63% extroverted, but I think I'm introverted. That's interesting. There's no way I'm living with someone without my own space. Yeah, as you shouldn't. As you shouldn't. Yeah. Because I, I feel like, prime example, whenever, when we first started dating, and I was still living with Jalen Jordan in uh, Park Place, mm-hmm. and it was a three-bedroom, and I ain't going to lie, I miss that closet. It was a that big, was a, it was a fire big closet. It was, big it was like, not only was it a walk, I don't even know about walk in, but walk through closet, but like it was huge. Yeah, it was, I, it was made to have like a washer and dryer. Yeah, it. bro. And, and like, I just, I, that's the one thing I miss. But like, even when we would have our little spats or something like that. Now, here's the crazy part it's an apartment I'm paying rent at. It's an apartment that I was living at first. Tell me why she would take the room and I'd go in the living room and play FIFA. Because I wasn't trying to be in that space or whatever. It's crazy how you fall in love with somebody and all of a sudden, it's your space. I forgot what... I, you was working at insurance job at the time, I want to say. Mm-hmm. And you was already agitated. And we had got into it about something. And I literally, like, we had got into it. I went in the front. And then, like, it, in, in all actuality, the, the a-hole in me should have been like, you go in the front. Or you go to your mama's house or something like that. But, like, I literally gave you the room. I went in the front with Jar. We played FIFA till like probably one, two o'clock in the morning. I knew he was gonna you go to sleep. You want to know why? Because you didn't want to be away from me. This is no, this is because <laughs> even you may have not, you may have been annoyed with me, but you didn't want to be away. But from me. I remember even then, it's like there was times where, where like, I forgot what exactly had happened, but you had literally got in your car and you was like, "I'm going home." Like you went to your mama house, and I showed up not even thirty minutes later. If not, followed you to your mama house. I'm f- I forgot what we was arguing about. It was around, I don't know. I don't know. At the beginning of our relationship was once we got that little point. It was it was some it was wild. Yeah. But oh, I thought about the makeup sex we had. That was lit. That was lit. We ain't gonna go into that. I know how you get. We ain't going into that. That was that was a lit night. But we had we we it was like a thirty minute drive back to where she used to live at with her mom and like. I just wasn't, I just, I, like, I don't know. I just wasn't comfortable with us arguing. And then, like, not say not giving space, but, like, you know how you get whenever you get to that point. But I know for you to get to that point, it's bad. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like, we got to salvage bad. You know, so it's like, I just wasn't about to, I wasn't about to lose that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, this is the part of the show, y'all, to where, see, I didn't I didn't mess up and put her behind on, on here. So, like, I could talk for hours. And, like, normally I would have wrapped it up by now. But, um. How long have we been on here? About, like, an hour and 
15 minutes, hour, 30 minutes, something like that. And I'm knowing if we keep going, we're going to be able to like two, three more hours. And that's a lot of video to edit. So we're going to have to just have a part two. But um, I'm not about to wrap it up, wrap it up yet. But if y'all have any other questions y'all want to ask, that's cool. It doesn't matter. I love the fact that y'all was interacting to begin with. But um, once again, this little meter up here, if y'all start tapping the screen, it's going to start going up like this. The only, the only job I ask y'all to do is like fill it up at least one time before we close this thing out just to make sure it throws me in the algorithm. But also go look at the content. Y'all go subscribe on the YouTube because all of the episodes that y'all missed, even without her in it, like I've had Kenny and Brooke and I forgot who Dion. I, I had a bunch of people on here. Mm -hmm. So it's like y'all go back on my YouTube and watch that. I'm trying to migrate a lot of stuff to the YouTube to where we can start monetizing that and I can start doing more and have more resources to where we can get the bigger video editing and the cameras and stuff like that because I want to take this to a whole nother level, you know, but it takes a community. It takes a supporter. It takes a follow, uh, actual following. You know, so y'all make sure y'all hit that follow button. Y'all go subscribe to YouTube. Y'all go to my Instagram, all that type of stuff. But really go to my YouTube. That's what I'm trying to drive y'all at. And y'all just y'all just keep showing love, bro. And once again, Amber dot days for her. If y'all trying to go follow her and see what she do, and just thank y'all because we've been, I've been I've got back on live. I've been doing it for like what two weeks to a month so far since I've been coming back on live, and the numbers have been great. Like we used to average like two to ten people up in here, and then we got popping, and then I had to I went through like this social media just hiatus because it was too much it was too much going on and when i got back on here i, I ain't gonna lie, i thought it was gonna take three four months all over again mm -hmm. but like it hasn't even been like a month and a half and we averaged in between 60 and 70 people sometimes 100 and some people per live and i know it's monday it's one of the slower days or whatever but y'all still showed up we down to 31 right now but we was at like 70 something at a point so like i'm really appreciative for all y'all that show up and show out and thank y'all for the followers. I saw a whole bunch of people gifting. I saw a whole bunch of people sharing and commenting. And I love the interaction. Like that's, I'll take that over anything. Like it could be 10 people up in here, but if we actually having conversations and y'all commenting and y'all engaging with me and stuff like that, that's what keeps stuff like this going. And that's what brings more like-minded people together. But I think we should wrap it up, huh? Yeah. Let's you have anything to say uh, before I wrap it up, wrap it up? I enjoyed my time. I really did. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, you're going to be back? I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> we're going to look. We're going we're gonna to mark it to that. Say thanks for sharing. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. I feel like I know this person. But y'all, but once again, y'all, thank y'all for being with us. Thank y'all for the love. She said, I love this. I was going to scroll on TikTok, but I love this conversation. Y'all, please yeah. follow. Because I go thank live you. Monday through Thursday. I'm live. I'm typically live around, oh, 315 Central Standard Time. That's the time I, because I know we're in Southern, we're at the bottom of Louisiana. We're in Southern Louisiana. So like, a lot of my followers are like either far west or far east of us. Even I got some people in like Puerto Rico, not like other places. So like, please, three fifteen Central Standard Time, whatever that is to y'all, that's the time that I typically go live. But I will catch y'all later. Y'all be good. Um, eat good, drink good, all that good type of stuff. Boom, 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 all that type of stuff. Y'all be good. Praise God.